G'day. So I'm assuming you're watching this video because you're currently experiencing security lockout. What is it? What happens? What do we do from here? If you're experiencing security lockout or iPhone is unavailable, iPhone is disabled, it's basically saying that you need to wipe your phone. The passcode has been entered too many times and from there it has the phone has disabled itself or has locked itself out as we have in this latest iteration of this iPhone issue. Basically the passcode's been entered too many times, maybe your screen's broken and it's done that, maybe you've hit the power button in your pocket and it's tried too many times and you wound up with this screen. What I find here is basically once you get to this stage, your data I would almost consider lost. The only way to get past this is wiping your whole phone, which I will show you in a minute how to do that. Regarding your data, if you're lucky, hopefully you have your iCloud details on hand and hopefully your iPhone has done a backup recently. Potentially you have your contacts saved there, you may have your photos saved there, which is mainly what most people are after. So fingers crossed, once you've wiped the phone, you can restore from an iCloud backup to get your information. You may potentially have done an iTunes backup to a computer at some point in time. You should be able to restore it after we wipe it to get it going. I don't know why Apple have constantly done this. This is about the third version of this particular message I've seen over the years. I wish they'd just give you the option to use a iCloud account to sign in, to then unlock it remotely, to then access your information once more. So sadly at this point, I would consider your information already lost. I would rather it just wipe itself and come back to the welcome screen than produce this message for most people as it generates so much confusion. Anyway, let's get on with wiping it. This is gonna be using a Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC and a program called 3U Tools. This program will only work on a Windows operating system. There does seem to be fraudulent Mac versions out there. Don't touch that. I'll leave a link in the description and that will be for the Mac version of, of wiping your iPhone once you get to here. So let's get on with it. So when you go and download 3U Tools, make sure you go to 3U.com. There are a couple of knockoff sites that are all fairly dodgy. So download and install that. Once installed, it should look fairly similar to this here. Right now it's asking for an iPhone to be connected up, which is all fairly straightforward. This now, also we do need to put the phone into recovery mode. This one here is a 12. You can use something like this if you're doing it fairly often which kicks any phone that's turned off into recovery mode. If you don't have that luxury, if we go plug in the power lead, so plug in the cable, press volume up, volume down, and hold power. And all we do from here is simply keep holding it. Eventually the phone will switch off, it will restart, just keep holding, and we should see a iTunes or computer logo come up. So I'm just still holding it. And I think it's going to ignore me. No, there we go. So right now we've got this on our iPhone 12. That button combination should work from virtually anything iPhone 8 and above. Once we get there, it should say iPhone detected in recovery mode. And we want to go to Go Flash. Sorry about my focus struggling right now. We want to select the latest version that's available, latest stable version. You will also get beta versions. We don't want those. We'll go over and we'll click download. It should stay downloading. If it comes up with on queue, what I recommend doing is just close it down and reopen it again from there. If I click continue, it's showing this icon over here and it says on queue. So I don't know why it does that, where it doesn't actually download it when you tell it to download, but I do find just closing it and reopening it does help. Click download again, now nah, on queue. So for me the download failed, so what I did was I went to a website called ipsw.me and then I hunted down the exact model that I had you know what adds. Hunted down the exact model that I had, which was an iPhone 12, and I was able to download the firmware from there. 
So if for you clicking download has failed here, go to that website, download the correct firmware that you require, which is normally the latest version, click import, and I've already copied it to here, but you should be able to find in your downloads folder a very similar file. If we double click on that, it should verify it. Once it's done verifying, from there we should be right to flash the phone. Righto, so mine's nice and happy. My verification is complete, took under a minute to do. Right now we've got the iPhone imported. The phone is still in recovery. It may come out of recovery just because it's been connected for so long idling. Just do that button combination of volume up, volume down and press and hold power. Keep holding until you see this screen. We should get it back here. What we want to do here is down the bottom, we can't go retain user data. If we do that, it's going to update the iOS, but it's going to still be disabled, unavailable and so on. So what we want to do is do is quick flash, which will wipe and erase everything on the phone. So from here, I'm going to select the version I want. I'm going to go quick flash, and then I'm going to press flash over here. It's going to ask, do you want to do this? This is what's going to happen. I'm going to go flash, and then we play the waiting game. A few things that you may encounter while the phone is getting flashed, it may stop it. 19% or a few other different percentages. What I'd recommend doing is, if it does do that to you, try different USB cables, try different USB ports, and potentially if you have the option, if it keeps failing, if you may have another computer you could try it on, another Windows computer, definitely worthwhile trying it on another machine. So if it's a desktop computer, try the ports at the back, try the ports at the front, and hopefully from there, you'd be able to get the phone formatted. So right now, let's sit at 20% and still going. So I'll just prop this up, leave it, and all going well, this should get to 100%, completely wipe the phone, and should be ready to, at the initial setup from there. If it still comes up as iPhone is unavailable, disabled afterwards, I would say that you forgot to change it to quick flash and you've got it as retain user information. If it's set to retain user information, it will highly likely go straight back to that screen once it's finished updating. So do make sure you go quick flash while we're trying to get around this particular issue. Now I'm just gonna let this run for a little bit, but I'll leave these here for you guys to be able to see what's going on. Just prop this up on here. I don't really want to bump the phone. So I'm just going to leave it like that for you guys. This will potentially take up to about, I would say up to maybe five, 10 minutes, depending on what phone, what computer hardware that you've got, what cable and how Apple feels like doing the update today. So we'll just let it roll, let it go. Basically tell it to start, walk off, come back 10 minutes later and hopefully you're looking at a reset phone that will then ask for your Apple ID information or your iCloud information. You should be able to enter that in, hopefully restore from a recent iCloud backup and hopefully have your phone up and going once more.
And there we go. The clean flash has been completed. The phone itself will keep going for another little bit of time. But after this, we should be sitting at the initial setup screen. And from there, you should have your iPhone usable once more. I hope this helps. And I'm going to catch you guys later. Bye.